Mom Mount Blackmore up in highlight. And this area received about a foot of snow since yesterday morning, a little bit more actually. Prior to that, it was really warm and sunny last week and the snowpack got pretty wet. And then it refroze and has this supportable crust below. So we're not really worried about avalanches breaking below this new snow. So we're looking for signs of instability within that. We're seeing it's generally right side up. We're not seeing cracking. The wind is calm and we're not seeing signs of recent drifting or wind loading. So our main concern today is dry, loose avalanches on steep slopes, especially where one of those might push you into trees or over cliffs or something. Going forward, we do want to be carefully assessing the stability of the new snow as we get more snow. And this time of year, conditions can change a lot and pretty quickly just throughout one day. If the sun pops out, it won't take long for this to get moist and slide e easier as whether it's a loose snow or a slab avalanche. And if the winds pick up, there's plenty of new snow to create fresh drifts that could um, become reactive when maybe they weren't earlier in the day. So carefully assess the snowpack each day and throughout the day. Um, and stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions.